guys and welcome back since we have been talking about life tell me how do you think different living organisms maintain life inside them well the answer lies in their very own laboratory that's inside their bodies what a laboratory inside our bodies sounds strange doesn't it well i called it a lab because of the hundreds of chemical reactions occurring inside organisms all the time even in the simplest ones like bacteria if we cook a meal we need different ingredients similarly chemical reactions also require specific elements there are around 92 chemical elements that are found naturally on earth but guess what only 16 of these elements form the chemical compounds that make up a living organism that's why these 16 elements are given a special name called bio elements but are they all present in exactly the same amount in a living organism the answer is no don't believe me let's examine the chemical makeup of the human body and you will be surprised to know that 99% of the total mass of our bodies is made up of only six bio elements these six bio elements and their compositions are oxygen which is 65% carbon which is 18% hydrogen 10% nitrogen is 3% calcium is 2% phosphorus is 1% here is the graph that shows each element's composition in human bodies starting from oxygen to phosphorus now that we have looked at the six bio elements this leaves us with the remaining 10 bio elements which are potassium which is 0.35% sulfur is 0.25% chlorine is 0.15% sodium is also 0.15% magnesium is 0.05% iron is 0.004% copper manganese zinc and iodine have traceable amounts in them these 10 bio elements make the remaining 1% of our body mass So together that gives us a total of a solid 100% of the chemical elements that make up a human body. Fascinating, isn't it? The fact that the same 16 chemical elements occur in all organisms and their properties also differ from those in the non-living world shows us that bio elements have some really cool and unique properties. that make them suitable as a basis for life now this may all sound very simple but let me tell you the way living organisms are organized is a lot more complex and different from non living things just look at your own body and notice how well it works from performing more straightforward tasks to rather complicated ones like lifting an object to digesting food excreting waste respiring selective gases our bodies can do it all and all of these examples point to one basic fact that living things have a smart built in regulatory mechanism that interacts with the environment and helps sustain their structural and functional distinctiveness doesn't it make you wonder what this built in system is well most of the credit goes to the protoplasm a highly structured living substance found in the body cells that controls its activities so to understand the integrity and functional regulation of a body it is crucial to study the biological organization of living organisms which entails a high degree of complexity I know it all sounds quite daunting but do not worry my friends 
our brilliant biologists have created an easy way of understanding this concept of biological organization. They have categorized biological organization into different levels showing how life starts from the basic atomic and subatomic levels that later develop into a whole new organism. And that new organism becomes a part of a population that allows scientists to look at organisms on a community level. It's almost like how we go through different phases of education from playgroup to nursery, moving on to primary school, then high school and university. These different phases of education show an increasing level of growth and complexity. Similarly, different levels of biological organization indicate an increasing level of growth, diversity and complexity.